Hello everyone, my name is Amber Thomas and tonight I'm going to be presenting a little bit of my research on David. I chose to research David because of all the incredible figures that we can look up to and learn from in the Old Testament. David has always been a person that I feel a greater connection to mainly because of how real and raw his life story is. It's very focused on the victories in his life and also focuses very much on the failures in his life. And I just find that so real and reassuring as a fellow human that we have some very highs and we can have some very low lows. So that's why I chose to do my research on him. Most of the narrative of David's life and actions are found in the books of 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st Kings, and 1st Chronicles. However, the very first passage or verse that we find David mentioned in is actually in the book of Ruth in chapter 4 verse 17 um, and it is just a mention of his name but I am going to go ahead and read it to you. So this is at the end of Ruth's story um, and it is talking a little bit about the lineage that begins uh, from her marriage with Boaz. So in verse 17. Actually, I'm going to read from verse 13 through 17 so we get a better context of what's going on in the story. So beginning at verse 13. So Boaz took Ruth, and she became his wife, and when he went into her, the Lord gave her conception, and she bore a son. Then the women said to Naomi, Blessed be the Lord, who has not left you this day without a near kinsman, and may his name be famous in Israel. And may he be to you a restorer of life and a nourisher of your old age. For your daughter-in-law, who loves you, who is better to you than seven sons, has borne him. Then Naomi took the child and laid him on her bosom and became a nurse to him. Also the neighbor women gave him a name, saying, There is a son born to Naomi, and they called his name Obed. He is the father of Jesse, the father of David. And so begins the very famous lineage um, that eventually leads to Jesus. Now the article that I read um, as part of my research on David was found in the Dictionary of the Old Testament Historical Books. And when I was reading this article, three main points stood out to me. The first is that this, the historical account of the life of David found in 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st Kings and 1st Chronicles as a whole is really considered to be a literary masterpiece. And it's not just because of the record of the life of David and the things that he did, but really it is admired so much because of the detail and comprehensiveness of David's character development and the fact that you can see a lot of not only the external victories and failures, but the internal victories and failures. The second point that I found important to note was that while some might consider the historical record of David to be somewhat of a propaganda to promote this positive uh, character of David in a positive light, um, it should not be considered propaganda because even though what is recorded has a lot of positives, a lot of victories, a lot of David in a good light, at the same time, it really doesn't shy away from addressing a lot of the really wrong things that David did in his life and the really awful struggles that he had. So 
it doesn't add up that this entire narrative would be simply a way to record David in history as someone amazing and perfect because clearly the writers did not hesitate to lay out his very big flaws. For example, you have in the beginning of David's life a lot of examples of David showing so much mercy to King Saul who wanted nothing but to kill David. And then fast forward to David committing adultery with Bathsheba and murdering her husband. So you have both the, the light and the darkness laid out in equal harsh light uh, for the reader to absorb and glean what they can from his life experiences. The last point that I found fascinating was that the biblical record of the life of David is um, very comprehensive because 1st and 2nd Samuel and 1st Kings the 2nd Chronicles, while some of the events are correlated between the books, others are not. Some stories are only found in 1st and 2nd Samuel. Some stories are only found in 1st Chronicles. However, they don't contradict. Instead, they help piece together the complete uh, life story of David. So this concludes uh, the research that I have done on David and what was written about him in the Bible. Uh, to be completely honest, I expected to learn a little bit more about the personal side of David, but instead I learned a lot more about um, the historical accuracy and the importance of the way David's life was recorded, and I think in a way that ends up helping me better understand the more personal and internal workings and spiritual journey of David. So I'm very glad that I did this project and I learned a lot and I hope you did too. Thank you for listening.